So it's our 2016 Brutopia European Beer Tour. And we're in Rome, Italy. We're heading all the way up to uh, Florence and Milan. And we got a group of 29 wonderful beer people, mainly from Georgia. And we're at Beer and Food in Rome, enjoying some great cellar beers and tremendous food. Yeah. There was like food shortages and stuff. Fantastic beer. Great start to the trip. Russell, Marilyn, what do you think? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Fred, how you doing? Good God, are you gonna eat all that? Bucket list. Pizza in Rome. Pizza in Rome. Check. Absolutely. <laughs> Great start to the trip, Al. Cool. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> You're like a ferret. <laughs> any, any comments for stop number one? Are you having fun? Everybody. Yeah, sour. Are you having fun? Yeah. 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 Italian food and beer and stuff. Yeah. Sour. Lee and Ashley, are you having fun so far? And Thomas. It's decent. It's decent, right? <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite beer, Ashley? What is it with that word? Uh, the smoky one that uh, Eddie did not like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eddie's not a smoke fan. He's not taking it. He's not taking it. Long table, awesome people. <laughs> Spike, any words for the camera? Suck it, bitch. <laughs> nice. That's what I was going to say. So this video goes from G to PG-13. Oh, we're going to R? <laughs> Charlie just got here from Istanbul. We went ham, yeah. We went ham, right? <laughs> All right, this is beer and food in Rome. Um, for produce beer, uh, you know there are four ingredients. Water, yeast, barley, malt, cream, and milk. This is step for my machine is here um, I put inside water and uh, uh, barley market um, make it uh, uh, make it, uh, uh, barley market the first step is the mesh um, after the mesh I have the filter on the bottom I filter the wort and the wort come in the second tank in the second tank the word boil and I put inside the, the hop um, the hop uh, that give the uh, bitter on aroma um, after the word comes in the um, this uh, um, is the so sometimes when you have 30 people on a beer tour, you have to split up and send half the group to one little pub and the other half to another pub and then switch after an hour. And that's what we did. We're here at Donkey Punch in Rome. Fantastic little pub with great sandwiches, veggies, meat, a nice bottle craft beer list. Fantastic place. Cool rock and roll mural. Having fun, Bob? Speaking of cool. <laughs> You guys having fun? Yay! Say hi. Donkey Punch. Donkey Punch. <laughs> Cheers to Donkey Punch. Oh, yeah. Cheers to Roma. <laughs> you guys having fun? Woo! Oh yeah. Cool. <laughs> awesome. And uh, Eduardo, say hi. You're on the video. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Great pub. Donkey Thanks. Punch. I was a video. I thought it was a pub. And it's day three, and we've made it from Rome to Florence, and we're at the wonderful Bovaro Brew Pub right outside of Florence, Italy. Fantastic brew system here. 
They have four beers on today that are all very nice. A golden ale all the way up to a beautiful stout. The food here is absolutely wonderful. If you're ever in Florence, you need to make this a stop if you love craft beer. <laughs> Here's some of the owners and brewers. <laughs> it's a movie. <laughs> Life is good. Any comment, Hamlet? Life is good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> comments, comments? Ciao. Ciao. Woo! Marilyn, do you like, like Italy? <laughs> Marilyn, have you ever wanted to come to Italy before? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad we're here. I love Italy. <laughs> cool. See, comment. Cheers. <laughs> From Florence, Italy. From Florence. Christ Christine, Christine, any comment? Uh, oh. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> You put a camera in people's face and all I can think of is cheers. You guys having fun? Yeah. Hey Owen. Any wise comments? Um, Charlie's got something. Uh, stay away from Spike, you just got hit with a blow dart. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> just look at that bruschetta, isn't that amazing? Very tasty. Very, very, very nice, yeah. <laughs> This is day four of our Brutopia 2016 uh, craft beer trip to uh, Italy, and uh, we're at uh, Togomato, right? Yeah, I got it right? Great right? 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 Okay, yeah. Togomato, and we're brewing a collaboration ale with Spike from Terrapin and Bruno from Togomato. And Matteo. And uh, Mat Matteo. Matteo, yes. Matteo's the uh, head brewer. Yep. Very good. And Spike just added the hops in. Yep. So what are we, what are we making? Uh, we decided to make a rye pills. Uh huh. Uh, so pills mold, uh, ninety percent and ten percent of rye mold. Okay, to give something different to the pills style. Okay. And what kind of hops? Uh, German hops, noble hops, mitten fruit, nice. Tesnanger, and Selec. Oh, very good. Some sauce. Some sauce. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we. Uh, yeah, it was funny because when we did the, uh, when we started corresponding uh, online, you know, I obviously use a lot of rye, so when I, when I said through to the, the, the mall pill, I'm like, yeah, 15, 20 percent, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, just a little bit, 10 percent, so we've got about 10 percent rye in this beer, just to give the, the pilsner just a little spice, a little dryness uh, exactly. on the back end. 25 percent rye would lead to maybe some sticky mash and the slow loudering and... Yeah, 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 yeah. And I mean, you know, pilsners are... You know, finesse, you know, you want yeah. that nice finesse, so use mm -hmm. the rye, pull it down. I get a little heavy handed with the rye sometimes. But, yeah. You know, yeah, but uh, I like a lot of the green pills, eh? mm -hmm. and I like the easy drinkability of pills. Yeah. So, in this case, I think that we will add something uh, uh, particular, uh, good. The dryness and spice, yeah. uh -huh. that's all. I, and I think that yeah. would be very easy to drink. Yeah, and the traditional hops. Uh, exactly. It's really nice. one of your favorite styles, Spike, right? Yeah, I actually have a pilsner in the tank right now. Yeah? It's called yeah. Soundcheck. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, we just were crashing it today, bringing it, cooling it down. So uh, great, by the time great. I get home, I'll be able to have a little bit, hopefully. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Yeah. So, Bruno, how long have you been in this facility? Uh, if a, uh, one year more or less. One yeah. year, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We said, started in April. You said much smaller before you moved here, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a beautiful brew house. Thank you. Barrel aging. Great stainless steel. Yeah, so that's, uh, this equipment is actually uh, the same equipment that I use on the bottle line at Terrapin. So we have CFD. Okay. So that's how we got together, our mutual friends from CFT. Uh, mm -hmm. Just makes a beautiful equipment. So, right. You know, I'm going to do that. 
And when I was organizing this trip, everyone said we had to come here and try your beers. It's some of the best in Italy. So great. That's great. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> what styles do you specialize in here? Uh, we are quite known for the IPA, uh -huh. but uh, we uh, try every time to make something new using new variety of hops. And uh, you today will have the opportunity to, to try something. Our most known beer is called the Zona Cesarini, that is a Pacific India Pale Ale. I mean, it's not the American classic uh, IPA because we added uh, in 2010 uh, some new, very fruity varieties of hops, like the Rashiers, the Pinot, Palisade, to, to create something new. No? Uh -huh. And we are always open to try new things. Yeah. So, but the Zona it was really a success. And, uh, Mm -hmm. This is our most known beer. Yeah. Then we are quite known for uh, now for the beers with fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, another very known beer is called the Dr. Caligari. That is a doppel Berliner Weiss with the raspberries. Oh, nice. Okay. Sounds Drinking good. a beautiful Saison. Yeah. I don't know the name of the Saison. Civil. Civil. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Bottle condition. Spike, this is your first Italian collaboration, right? It is, yeah. yeah. First time in Italy, first time collabing over here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's been really, really fun. We've had some great That's beers great. out here. Uh, we just had a little group up earlier for lunch. They're fantastic. And, uh, yeah. And here's our food. You know, we, we are trying to grow. <laughs> yeah, help <I'll, I'll> me <laughs> all. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Bruno, when will the Rye Pilsner be released and where? Oh, Rye Pilsa will be, I think, sold in the best Italian pub uh -huh. and uh, probably Europe uh, somewhere. I don't know where now, but I think yeah. that we are quite uh, known in Europe and uh, we are starting now because of the new facilities mm -hmm. to export more. Maybe springtime 2016? Uh, see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Perfect. Can we see the boil? Oh, nice. I didn't see it. Pop smell, wonderful. Okay, it's day five of the Brutopia trip. We're here at Vacavalina Brewery in northern Italy, north of Milan. And here is the owner, Renato. Hello, Hello. my name is Renato. <laughs> Welcome to Vacavalina Brewery. And you've had this beautiful brewery here for how many years? Seven years. It's a gorgeous area of Italy, and, and you're making a very nice, uh, sessionable, beautiful beer. So, congratulations, you. you're doing a good job. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And this is your wife? Yes. Oh, no. Hi, what's Pon. your name? Pon. Okay. okay. How long have you been married? Oh, 15, 15 years. years ago. Wow, nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's Lee. <laughs> Behind the pole. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, do you have anything witty to say? No? Can't be forced, man. Can't be forced, Can't be forced. right. <laughs> have you guys had a fun time on the trip so far? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. It, Italian beer has taken off. It's fantastic. <laughs> Russ needs more cheese. <laughs> Look at this beautiful salami cheese. Jeez. Fantastic labels they have here. Rena, questa non so se la vuoi spiegare, Fantastic craft brewery in Italy. With beautiful scenery. With beautiful scenery. Yay! Dan, any comments? Absolutely. Okay, okay. go ahead. Another great beer trip. It used to be the best thing about Italian beer was the bottles. Uh -huh. And now what's in the bottles is absolutely wonderful. We've had a great trip. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> great beer, great fruit, great friends. That's a good comment. I like that. Yeah. Dan is with Mazert. You don't have your Mazert shirt on? I don't. I don't. It's still a nice shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Anybody have a comment? How can you top Dan? <laughs> How can you top that? How can you top Dan? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, it's hard to top Dan. <laughs> Any comments? Even Rocky had a montage. <laughs> <laughs> this is the famous Eddie Holly from Ale Yeah, the famous in Atlanta. Yep. 
He's awesome. He is. All right. He's got an empty glass. Oh, got an empty, oh shoot. I got I to open some more glass. This is Christine Sandage from the awesome Wrecking Bar in Atlanta. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Oh, good, good Italian. Yeah, I'm learning my Italian here. Right. Because it's, it's fat. <laughs> but it's, uh, well, I like it a lot. I came, I got the idea from Porto wine, port wine bottles, okay? But we had to change the shape for commercial reasons and for pressure reasons. So uh, I ended up with this, that's in between a very popular and, um, um, say, common bottle from the 70s in Italy, and uh, that was used very cheap industrial beer drink by, uh, Normal workers, like this, okay, so very popular in one hand, but a little bit more elegant because the design I think is quite elegant. So, in between. And the other beer, the other bottle is 33 centiliters bottle. And this is uh, the Brewers, Italian Brewers Association bottle. So, it's uh, it's very it's very nice, I, lo I love it. Um, but honestly, it's very expensive, and the weight is a problem when you're shipping. Uh, so at the end, this bottle compared with a commercial bottle cost us uh, 10 cents of euros per bottle more. The glass all together. The glass is very thick. The glass is thick, every. Yeah. So if you put together the cost and mm -hmm. the shipping cost, because the weight is bigger, then. 10 cents per bottle. It's a lot. It's a lot. In a big scale, it's a lot. Yeah. But uh, I like this, and uh, we are oriented to, uh, let, let me say, small market, high quality market, high prices. So I don't think this, this makes a real difference in, in my in my sales. <laughs> okay. Hi to everybody. We are Fabrizio and Davide. We are the brewer of Birrificio Milano. You are here in our, uh, I don't know, hey look, it's a, for me it's a fantastic place because it's a historical place of Italy where uh, before of us uh, uh, people produce uh, airplane here, the, 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 before of us the, 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 how you say in Italian, the fabrica was Caproni, Caproni airplane. The factory, uh, yes. The factory is called Caproni. And uh, you see our, um, our brewery, our machine. Mm -hmm. uh, we produce uh, six beer at the moment, five ale and uh, one uh, with beer. And uh, all the name of our beers are inspired to the fire, the fly, the concept of fly, because... Uh, <laughs> because... Uh, we produce, uh, other people produce airplane before us uh, in uh, this place, no? Uh -huh. So um, we produce uh, two blonde beer, three red beer and a brown beer, it's a uh, porter style. Uh, all the beer are uh, high fermentation beer and uh, I hope you, you enjoy our beers. And when, when did the brewery begin? What year? Oh, the story, uh, our adventure began uh, two years ago, so two we years. are uh, really a startup, yeah. and uh, we are really happy of this uh, uh, new direction of our life. Uh -huh. It's a beautiful brewery and very nice beer, so thank you, thank very, you much. very much. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. <laughs> So it's the final day of our 2016 February Brutopia beer trip to Italy, and we're wrapping things up. And it's Spike's, Spike's birthday from Terrapin. Spike, it's birthday. happy it's birthday. birthday. It's my birthday today. I'm drinking beer on my birthday. <laughs> drinking beer on my birthday. Woo, woo. <laughs> Look at this. Do, 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 do. Oh, nice. Look at that. Made, dude. Cool. Eddie, bro. That's a good beer, too, from England. That's how I do it. <laughs> Later, bitches. <laughs> All right, say goodbye. 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 Girls, say goodbye. Did you have fun? Yes. I did. Yeah, Italy's, Italy's great, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Ciao. 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 Everybody, say goodbye. Bye. We love you. Bye. We love Italy. Bye, Italy beer. Yes.
Ciao. Ciao. This is Christine, one of the owners of Wrecking Bar. Did I introduce you before? You did. I did, yeah, okay. I didn't say anything. You didn't. You were all camera shy. I was. <laughs> say goodbye, guys. Goodbye, guys. Ciao. All right. Had a great time. Uh, this is Lee from Boulevard Duval. Italy. 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 Yes. Great town every time we went to. Yeah. Great beers and great people here. Absolutely. Highly recommended. Yeah. And you can eat pizza every day and not get sick of it. Yeah. What's not to love about that? <laughs> right, Cheers. Right, right. Cheers. Excellent. Say goodbye, people. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, people. Camp. <laughs> goodbye, people. Goodbye. Camp with Missouri. Bye. This is Zach. Zach, did you have fun? I lived. You lived? You survived? I survived. <laughs> <laughs> and you're still not done, right? You're going where tomorrow? Oh, uh, Zurich. Tomorrow. Zurich. Yeah. Sweet. There we go. Fun. That's close by. Yeah. All right, you guys, farewell, say goodbye. Adios. Great trip. Farewell. You guys have fun? Yeah, yeah, all fun. All right. <laughs> Namaste. It's craft beer in Italy. Ciao. Beer Fisio Milano. Fantastic beers. Nice, sparkling two year old brew house. There's Spike again. <laughs> Craft beer has taken off in Italy. You have got to come and check it out on your own. Explore the pubs, explore the breweries, make some new friends. Craft beer is a fantastic way to see the world. Cheers. <laughs>